What's your deal? It's your boy, Wild Man Teddy T, representing Star Quality Entourage, TMG, all kind of numbers, man, everything. Um, I've been in the business for like 25, 27 years. Started off with a record deal out of high school. I started a record label in high school as far as getting the music, engineering. I got the production team, and we made a, a, a record called Tell Me More. It's an artist named Eminem out of Miami. Got a record with, got a deal with Joy Boy Records. My uncle Alan Johnson worked for Joy Boy Records, who last year gave me my own digital deal as well. So, you know, big up to my uncle Alan. But after uh, getting a record deal with Joy Boy Records, I started understanding about the music business. And um, started paying attention to a lot of people. My man Chuck Bone, Chris Pringle, they put me down with a lot of information as far as working in the business. I noticed that people in the business was getting paid more consistently than artists. So I stopped being an artist and, and went into the mute, to the business side. My first record that I ever worked was Skilo, I Wish. Uh, it was my first time doing street promotions. I never knew people even got paid to pass out posters and flyers. And this was in like 1992, 93. And uh, we made Skilo number one record in the country and went platinum as a single. Um, my man Chris Pringle was at Scotty Brothers. We did um, Sweet Sable. Uh, Houdini was over there. Freddie Jackson was over there. There was a lot of groups that was there from 93. We went from Scotty Brothers to Uptown with So For Real, who's in the house right now. My man Dre and Jay I uh, broke their records. Candy Rain, So For and, um, and Every Little Thing took them on the road. Introduced the Lost Boys. Um, my man Chris was hired at RCA, so went to RCA, did SWV, Shantae Savage. And being from the South, I already was rooted with Luke. And I've been working with Uncle Luke for a while. And, and just our means of working the, the Chitlin circuit had that understanding. So when I finished um, doing working with major records in like 94, 95, came back to Miami and um, started working with Luke Records and doing underground radio myself as well. We put up our own underground stations in Miami, of course y'all know that, and anywhere else in the world, major ra underground. Flavor 919, 909 Ghetto Radio, 909 The Bomb, Mix 96, RIP my man Daddy Saw. People don't know, Daddy Saw is the one who originally started Mix 96 with Butterfuco. And, and then we did Rockers Island, it was so syndicate, and my man DJ Ant-Man, um, Cool G, a lot of different DJs that are still uh, around the Miami area now, but Mix 96 was started by Daddy Saw, who was a reggae DJ who died of cancer, and Butterfuco was always working with him, so he kept his dream alive, opened up the radio station, Mix 96, Rockers Island kicked off, which was a mix of hip-hop and R&B. Um, DJ Khaled came into the city, and um, I, had, I was working with a um, group called First Platoon at the time, he did one of their title track with an album called Connected. He produced that track. I knew Khaled was going to be able to change the game because he was a DJ, but he was a producer, and he understood business. So I hooked him up with that track, put him in his first video with First Platoon, and put him on the Luke show with Uncle Luke. When Uncle Luke got on, and we did the uh, Luke show when Cedric Hollywood came in. So for me, it was always just transferring from artists to working record labels to underground radio and then we all got on major radio because we made underground radio sound so good big up to my man dj Irie, dj epps suicide man the list goes on man shout out my girl uh k fox who was in 99 jam she went to new york did a lot of work with her my girl lucy lopez she's on 99 my power 96 still right now me and her was on the air for almost 10 years number one ratings on power 96 and, um, you know, in this whole game, it's just about being able to reinvent yourself, being in different situations, and being able to be a utility, not just doing one thing, but, you know, being able to do more than one thing, you know what I mean? Because you can't just depend on rapping or depend on this one thing to make it. So my uh, means of working with a lot of artists from Miami, from Trick, Trina, Pitbull, Pretty Ricky and my nephews, I did that pretty much myself. With their, with their family. Flo Rida, working with Flo Rida right now with my nephews who you saw tonight, Team Flight. My my, my, my my little nephew, Bob, that's his group. That was the first group that Flo Rida signed. Um, growing up with me and his sister, his sister works for IMG. We've been in the music industry for a long time, so he's picked up a lot of that. And from people like him and a lot of younger artists I work with, I, I came here to Atlanta and we started TMG which is a production team out of Memphis. Me and my partner Mad Dog was working with for like three or four years. 
and we all came here together collectively to put together a, a one-stop shop that's based off of production. We got ATL Design that does graphics and printing. I do distribution, label support, management, artist development. My man Mad Dog does um, it does administration. Uh, Sweat the tracks, TMG production. That's the total production team. Uh, we've made videos for Ti. He did addresses here. Young Jeezy, El Jefe, um, Waka Flocka. You know, it's just really we're into media communications and and in the means of being able to orchestrate this internationally. Um, it's an educational element. Everybody here is in a training course, and um, we do it now for a business element where we want people to be developed in business and be successful in business so that way they'll be able to be sustainable. You know, that's the whole thing about life is to be sustained from what you love to do. And in business and music especially, a lot of these artists don't own intellectual property, which is what they create. They give it away for half a million dollars, 1.2 million, and it grosses three, four hundred million. You know, so... We're teaching people to own their intellectual property, copyright their own records, have their own publishing, own their own production, distribute themselves, be independent. Because once you go get a record deal, you get 10% of your money. They make 90%. So we try to teach people the, the, the reality. Because truth is what somebody tells you, which is really a lie. But the reality of what you see is what we're showing you. And that's why we do what this event is called the TMG Experience. It's about the people that you meet and the experience that you had while you was here. That's more valuable than what is called education. You can't put a dollar mind on that. You know what I'm saying? You can't put a time value on that. So these are the things that we do. This is our seventh TMG experience that we've done here in this building. And they've all been different and they've all been successful. Now we've bought in Wi-Fi Radio, Wi-Fi Syndicate. That is the internet radio station I've been doing for like three years. It's on Live 365. It's also on iTunes Radio. And it's a way for us to be able to get music out globally because this is only one country and there's 192 other countries with more value and currency than the United States. So um, just another adamant, I'm what they call an indigenous person. I have my indigenous nationality as being the Washita. Um, and we are the oldest indigenous people on the planet, um, recognized by the United Nations, not being black, African American. So I come to Atlanta, put myself on public record as being that, and I have a bank account with Chase Bank without any kind of Georgia state license because I'm operating as an indigenous person. You know what I'm saying? And I'm teaching other people to gain their nationality, which is real easy, tracing your heritage, being able to be aware of the people in your family migration and we're using this as a economic urban trend to develop ourselves out of property and into a status international status because the united states as a as a government is a corporation and everybody's property of it so we're taking people out of property owning their own intellectual property and moving forward being able to transfer precious metals into a trust Meaning you don't ever have to worry about money, you know. You get yourself 100 ounces of gold, it's 1,800 an ounce, so about 180. I'm, I'm looking for $250,000 right now, which will sustain everything that's going on here. Every artist, everything that's going on here. So really take the time to understand what's really going on in the world. Because money doesn't exist only in the mind of the people that use it. The only thing that's viable is what is real, tangible assets. So that's what we do here is teaching sustainability, understanding what is true wealth, and understanding what is reality. That's the TMG experience, for real, from Wild Man Teddy T. I know that was a whole lot. I don't even know where I began or start or ended, but we in the mix right here in Miami. That's what's up, Wild Man Teddy T. Check me out at, at Wild Man 333, Instagram, Baron Theo Mound Builder, Facebook, Baron Theo Mound Builder. Um, I think that's it. Uh, Facebook fan page, Star Quality Entourage website, starquality.tv. We're here right now, June 14th, on Thursday, February 20th. We're in Memphis at the Music Exchange for Memphis. We got a lot of DJs from Memphis coming out. Chuck Taylor's back in the house. MP3 Wax is back sponsoring. We're making, like, collaborations with a lot of different people. We coast to coast the last two years. Now we just picked up MP3 Wax. This is going to be able to help the artists that's coming involved with us because we have value for them and they have value for us. It's called barter and exchange. It's not about 
exchanging cash. It's about exchanging ideals and values and services. Y'all get with this future shit, man. This ancient future shit. We're going to take it back to the ancient and move forward to the future. You know what I'm talking about? Wild Man Teddy T, Star Quality Entourage. Oh, wow.